Hey guys, welcome back. So today on this video, we are talking about Safari search history. And more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately. And that is, why is your Safari search history clear button in gray? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's gonna be a really quick video, not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. And I did another video that showed you how to clear the history on your Safari history, but a lot of people messaged me and let me know that their clear button is actually grayed out. They're not able to press it. So let me show you what that means. All I handled here in the settings app, it's this gray gear wheel icon. Let me open that up. Okay, I went ahead and opened up my settings and what I'm gonna do is scroll down until you get to Safari, which is right here. It looks like a little compass. I'm gonna click there. Okay, once you're here in the Safari settings, generally if you want to clear the search history for your Safari web history, you just wanna scroll down until you see this section right here. It says clear history and website data. So normally this is gonna be blue and you just click it and then everything gets cleared out with the options that you choose. But if you're like me, it's in gray. As you can see, you can't press it. So there's a couple of different reasons for this. The first reason, which is not too common, is because the search history and website data has already been cleared. If there's no search history and website data, if it's already been deleted, let's say two minutes ago, then you're not gonna be able to press this button. But that's not too common. The most common reason why this is grayed out is because of something called screen time. So just a brief rundown on what screen time is. It basically, if somebody gave you your phone, like a family member, they can put a restriction on your cell phone that does not allow you to clear the search history. And that's usually the most common reason. And you should be able to turn this off. There's a couple of workarounds and we're gonna go over that. So first off, what you wanna do is go to screen time. So go back to your settings. Okay, so here we are back on the iPhone settings. I'm gonna open this up. Once you've opened it up on the settings menu, you wanna look for this line called screen time. It's purple and it has kind of like a sand timer right there. I'm gonna click there. Once you've done that, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and turn off screen time right here. It's this red button at the very bottom. I'm gonna click on that. Now here's one of the problems. Whoever gave you your phone, if they set up the screen time, then you will need the passcode in order to turn off screen time. If it's you that set up screen time and then you are trying to delete history, go ahead and just enter in your passcode. I'm gonna enter mine in. Okay, next you get this pop-up called turn off screen time. I'll click there. Okay, now screen time is off. As you can see, it just changed. So now if I go back to Safari, let me click back and I'm gonna scroll down to Safari and then click on Safari. And then if you scroll down, as you can see, this button is now blue, clear history and website data. But what if you don't know the screen time password? Let me go back to my screen time. Okay, I went back to screen time and then what you wanna do is go down to this line right here called content and privacy restrictions. It has a little red icon next to it. Once you're here, then you wanna look for this line right here called content restrictions. I'm gonna click on this line. Next, once again, you do need to enter in your screen time passcode. So I'm gonna enter that in now. Okay, once you enter that in, then you wanna go ahead and look through this list until you get to this one called web content right here. And it says allowed websites only, or it may some say something else depending on what the restriction is. So I'm gonna click there. And then here you wanna change this to unrestricted access. Once you change to that, then go ahead and go back. And then you can go back to your Safari and check to make sure that that clear history button is blue. Now, if that doesn't work, then you're going to need to reset all settings and that's gonna be the third option. So let me go back to my settings in my iPhone. Okay, here's the settings app. I'm going to open it. Next, what you wanna do is scroll down until you see this line right here called general. All right, once you click there, you wanna scroll all the way down until you see this button here called reset. Next, what you wanna do is go ahead and click on this one, reset all settings. All right, next you're gonna get this option to enter your passcode. This is gonna be your passcode to your iPhone, not to screen time because this is something completely different. Okay, once that happens, then you can go back to Safari and verify that the clear history button is blue. And then the last option that you have, if your clear history button in Safari is grayed out, is you need to delete only the website data. So let me go back to my settings app on my iPhone. All right, so I'm going to open up my settings tab now. Okay, once you're here, then you wanna scroll through to you get to Safari once again, right here, Safari, I'm gonna open that up. All right, once you're here in the Safari settings, you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom until you see this line right here called advanced. Once you're here in advanced, then you wanna click on this button right here called website data. Okay, once you're in here, then you can go ahead and choose to delete the website data from each individual web page that you had visited that maybe you don't want to show up in your history. You can do that by clicking on this edit button here on the top, and as you can see, you get that red button. And then what you can do is just click on the website, and then it says delete, you can delete that one. And then once you're done, click this blue done button there. Or if you want to go ahead and just remove all website data, you can click on this red one down here. Once you click that, then you can click on this remove now button, and that will remove all website data 
I'm not going to do that just because I like to keep my history inside my Safari. It makes it easier when I log in and log out of websites. But there you have it, guys. If you're wondering why your clear history option is grayed out on your iPhone, those are the most common reasons and those are the most common fixes to that. If you know another way to get around your search history being grayed out to clear it on Safari, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.